gold is one of the most sought after metals on earth. It has been prized for its beauty, malleability and non-corrosive nature for thousands of years. Gold has retained its value throughout history partly due to the fact that it is indestructible. That means that virtually all the gold in the world that has been mined is still around in one form or another. We cannot be sure exactly how much gold has been extracted from the earth since humans began to mine it. According to experts, our best estimate is that there is about 200,000 metric tons of gold above ground and about 53,000 tons of underground reserves. About two-thirds of the above ground gold has been mined since the 1950s, while the first third had been mined throughout the thousands of years of preceding history. If all the above ground gold were stacked beside each other, the resulting cube would only measure 22 meters on each side which is a testament to the metal's rarity. But where exactly is all of this mined gold? Nearly half of the gold ever mined is held in the form of jewellery. India and China have been the largest markets for gold jewellery consumption, combining for more than 50% of global jewellery demand in 2020. Investment is also one of gold's biggest end uses, with over 44,000 tons of gold held as bars, coins or bullion for gold-backed exchange-traded funds. Besides investors, central banks are also among the biggest holders of gold. Central banks often use gold to diversify their assets and hedge against fiat currency depreciation. Central banks' gold holdings account for almost one-fifth of all the above-ground gold. Official holdings exceed 35,000 tons. Gold also has various industrial uses with applications in electronics, dentistry and space industry. It is these industrial uses that account for roughly 15% of all above-ground gold. It may come as no surprise that the United States owns more gold than any other country, over 8,000 tons. In 2020, miners produced just over 3,000 tons of gold, and at this rate, underground reserves will last less than 18 years without new discoveries. But this is only the gold that has been successfully mined and documented. Estimating how much gold actually exists on the planet is much trickier. Chemical analysis of rock samples suggest gold makes up on average a few parts per billion of the total mass of the Earth's crust. That means the top kilometer or so of Earth has around a million tons of gold still waiting to be dug. Chances are it never will be because most of it will be hopelessly uneconomic to extract. The world's oceans are in fact the biggest store of gold on the planet. The sea contains approximately 20 million tons of gold, but it is so heavily diluted by the incredible mass of water that we don't have the means to harvest it in any meaningful quantity. That's all for today's video. Like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.